Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Dark Souls 3 Lore Through. Um, we cleared out this first area um, in Lothar Castle, and now we are going to take on this boss. Um, and frankly, to me, it looks like this is the... Uh, I regret that. I'll just grab Igon. Um, it looks like this is where all of the pilgrim butterflies are headed. So, let's see if we can uh, do this. Now we get the Dragon Slayer armor. Probably is immune to a uh, lightning, but this is a great multiplayer uh, uh, boss, like. He does a really good job at taking on multiple people. Looks like Wrath of the Gods is doing good damage. So, yeah, during the fight, the pilgrims shoot gunk. We need to get magic. We need to dodge potentially. Come on, take on Igon. All these guys are here. again. Nice Igon for healing. I didn't even know you could fall off the edge in this boss battle. Dang it. Okay. Well, it looks like it's not going to be an issue at all. Um, which is good. Especially if I have uh, all my heals. Uh, let's take off this. I think Igon's a good choice too. Though I don't. Not sure if you need to summon Cirrus in order to get her last item. But I guess we'll find out. Yeah, so it really looked like. Um, Wrath of the Gods was doing work, and it looks like Igon has Wrath of the Gods or something. He was doing something like that. Wasn't really paying attention. Sometimes I, you know, just focusing on stuff, so. But he's being guarded by a pelican butterfly. Ooh. I smashed 
smash roll like 50 times there. Okay. Souls to actually consider that. Oh, Igon is dead. Perfect. Well, okay, that wasn't working out then. It was that one moment when I got healed in the first battle, which I think was like the difference. I guess I need to be more aggressive in pulling his attention away from Igon so he doesn't kind of like kill him in one round. But uh, nonetheless, I mean, I'm not like, for, I think for the rest of the bosses in this game, I'm not uh, really great at any of them as I've probably played this the least amount of all the games. Um, and this is the longest time since I've played these guys. So you'll just, you'll, you can expect me to kind of be faltering uh, from here on out, especially the DLCs. I think I've only played the DLCs once through a piece. Um, so, um, So just expect this to be a little different gameplay moving forward. Um, but uh, even with all that, um, like I ended up still um, getting him pretty much to a sliver. So if I can just keep Igon alive for a little bit, then I think we should be fine. Igon takes his sweet time. Yeah, I guess this is meant to be Ornstein or something.
gets from behind too, okay. seen that. Okay. Thanks, I got. So yeah, I think that's supposed to be Ornstein. Like people have talked about the fact that that looks like, or I mean, it's the Dragon Slayer armor, and it looks very similar. But obviously, it's and it says armor, so you know that it's not actually him. Something that they probably should have more explicitly stated in um, Dark Souls 2, because I think that's the generally accepted canon that that isn't Ornstein, but is, but it is his armor. So now we see we got a lot of interesting statues coming up here. Um, but yeah, this is the Grand Archives. And this will probably be two sections. And this looks like one of those black hands like the Black Hand Goddard guy that we've seen a couple times. So we get the uh, Grand Archives key. Key to the main entrance of the Grand Archives of Lothric. With the fire fading and the spreading pus of man, there it is, tainting the castle, the Grand Archives closed its doors for good. Today only a few of its keys remain. This one likely belonged to Goddard, one of the king's black hands who fled the castle. We'll learn more about black hands. The hunters known as the king's black hands wielded paired weapons. These belong to God Goddard, who fled the castle. Goddard rose quickly through the knighthood, no surprise to those who have witnessed his swordsmanship. And we are going to immediately go right back to Firelink, though. Now that we have a bunch of stuff and we can level up and we can read things and we can blah 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 blah. Uh, so I guess the first thing is we should read. Yeah, we have all these things. I'm gonna get rid of these. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of everything. And we have an undead bone shard. Aldrich, no. Wait. Dancer. Okay. Osiris, Skandir, Yarm. Okay, and um, okay, perfect. The so gray rat will never come back. Um, we oh. mentioned that before. But she should sell. Does she sell? Yeah, Morn stuff now. I well, I was gonna say Dragon Slayer. Does Dragon Slayer armor get anything? But she at least sells Morn. That's new. Okay. Um. So yeah, this is what Igon is wearing. Unusual helm bestowed upon Knights of Karim, modeled on Morn, the Archbishop's apostle. The helm is a perfect likeness to the stone heads lining the cathedral. 
A Kareem knight will dedicate an entire career to attending a single maiden, just as Morin once served one goddess alone. Kytha, maybe? Unique mineral resembling stone. Hmm. Um, and did I miss anything? We read Gundir, we read Carla's. Nothing new here. Okay, cool. Um, but we also got the Braille Tome. Let's level up here. Okay, good, good, good. Finally. Oh, I probably should have done that first. Eh, whatever. Do we have a no? Or do you be careful like that? Nothing new for these guys yet. But we have something for her. How do you? Oh, you've brought me a braille divine tome. And now I can tell new tales of miracles. Mm -hmm. Tales of the greater miracles can be quite the epics. What fun we will have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's considered to be fun. So now we have Bountiful Light. Miracle taught to knights by Gertrude, holy maiden to the queen. The he heavenly daughter is said to be the queen's child. So, Bountiful Light is the um, miracle of Gertrude, who is Queen Lothric's daughter, which is... Uh, um, uh, Gw Gwendolyn, Gwen Guinevere, <laughs> and Gertrude is in a cage above the uh, the Grand Archives now. Probably what the war was about, or at least related. Miracle taught to Lothric knights. Blesses right weapon, increasing attack power as well as gradually restoring HP. The knight is one of the three pillars of Loth Lothric, said to have strengthened ties with the high priestess and the scholars acquired the Grand Archives. So, a little bit of a preview there. The third pillar is the scholars. Magic Barrier. Magic of clerics who wield weapons increased mag magic damage absorption. There was a short period in history where clerics and sorcerers opposed one another. Uh, thus, it became necessary for even simple clerics to have some means of opposing magic. I was not meant to be a firekeeper, but I am honored to serve you beside the bonfire. The gods are ever merciful. My gratitude lies with them and with you. I am yours now. Your wish is my command. I was not meant to... I... Thank you ever so much. May your solemn duty conclude in triumph. So, yeah, well, uh... I guess we'll see here. Does this make her move? Nope. Um, she'll probably move soon, so we'll we'll come back. Welcome home. Uh, no, I don't want to do this. We have not read Dragon Slayer armor yet. Got to remember to do that. some of these. Okay. Well, very well then take. So let's continue in the Grand Archives. Let's 
see how much we can get done here before we hit our limit. Might be, uh, we might not get through it. I'm betting it'll be two stages. Uh, this is a shortcut we will open later. see here the second of the uh, crystal sages Crystal Sage is shooting at us from elsewhere, so I guess we should kind of rush towards uh, taking her out. So I wonder, do I get to fight her again down here? kind of scholars with uh, wax on their head. Um, do I get up to that? Yeah, right here. Oh, and I also should get my stuff. strong on this guy so they have different levels oh yeah I remember this um, yeah I'm gonna take out this guy I'm probably starting at the bonfire because it'll take up all my Do we get any of the Lothric Knight armor? Probably not. 
Armor have celebrated Lothric Knight. The code of distinction has all but fallen apart. The knight has served as one of the three pillars and shares place alongside the wyverns as a symbol of Lothric. Um, yeah, we did read that somewhere. Crystal Chime. There's going to be a lot of stuff here. Sacred Chime wants the possession of Gertrude, the heavenly daughter, and defiled by the scholars of the archives. You can see, yeah, crystals on it now. The power of crystals granted the scholars a degree of success. In this case, their work enabled this chime to be suitable for casting both miracles and sorceries. Um, I feel like there's a... Um, to keep an eye out for... Uh, um, hidden walls. This place really wraps around on itself a lot, which I love, but it is easy to miss an item. But it's one of the areas I invaded the most. So, we can now see the first examples of the uh, Koth slash Framped statues with the wings on it. And then here is a uh, scholar drenched in wax. If you dip your head in wax, which is the thing that you want to do, there are um, these spirits that come out of the books and they curse you and hurt you unless you have wax on your head and then they don't do anything to you. Uh, we'll pull that in a second. Oh, there goes another one. Is there something up here? But the wax doesn't last forever, so... Looks like a secret area. Which is locks. Well, a whip fashioned from the black hair of the daughter of the Witch of Isleth, creator of the Flame of Chaos. The long, shiny locks wove together to create this whip are imbued with the essence of fire, which can be channeled through the use of this skill of its skill, which is the flame whip. Power within. Forbidden pyromancy among those who internalize flame. A pyromancer fears the flame. However, this fear subsides once it is accepted as a substitute for strength. Hodrick was using this, I believe. I'm going to re, re up my uh, wax just so that we don't miss. Do we don't lose it at, a, at, a, at an inopportune time? I forget how long it lasts, but it's like f three minutes or five minutes or something. That was a death. Once you kill this 
one it doesn't come back and so I want to kill it <laughs> as quickly as possible um, so that it doesn't come back but eh, maybe I'll just have to wait And I probably was right next to that um, uh, shortcut, and I chose not to do it. an example of how you would get cursed if you didn't know what you were doing. If you didn't have your head. There we go. You could always use twinkling, I guess. We'll go more methodically this time. We can also just open up a bookcase that I can do. We can go towards. I'll I'll try to take well here, let's uh, do this. Hopefully I can get up here in time. the shortcut now. It changes the whole game. struggled with that enemy ever. Um, okay, I guess it's here. Oh. I don't have any um, wax though. What is with my poise? I have zero poise, I don't know what's going on. But we get the crystal scroll for our troubles. Ooh. A lot of these thralls here. Who's shooting at me now? Okay, well, I was just about to kill that guy.
If that's it, so we can now grab this. There's more places to put wax on your head, so we'll get to that. I pulled that, which opens up. What does it move? Oh, does it move the bookcase down here? Or is that from behind? Uh, I think it moves a bookcase. But anyway, as I was saying here, now that we're less distracted, there's an item right there, but then there's kind of an item back there, and you can see Grey Rat's hat. So that's Grey Rat, and that's where we can grab his ashes. Okay, yeah, here's the wax right here. Okay. Yeah, my, my item should be maxed level too, so I'm actually surprised that I'm like not just taking these guys out, so. Eh. Always under leveled, I guess. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you can see very well, but there he is. Oh, I didn't actually get hit by that. That's nice. And without wax, this part really sucks. You try to kill that guy and you just completely, you get like staggered by those and stuff. <sighs> There's a, uh, a pontiff outrider knight in here. I forgot. But it's the last one. Sneak up on him and do a log. Place your bets of whether I can get to him or not. Doubtful. I did get him good with that log, so I guess that's a good strategy to go with. I guess it'd be nice to take out everyone here, but... Oh, boy. Oh, wait, what? I thought the, uh, the wax was up there, but I guess it's down here.
Let's see if I can get this uh, all right <laughs> this time. Uh, I feel like this is going to be a couple couple takes here. I supposed to do there. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Everyone who's probably watching is like, well, use the shield, dummy. And that's probably where I, um, you know, struggle with Dark Souls 3 the most. Um, I guess. It certainly is going to take more than one video if I can't even get to the halfway point in a normal time of a normal video. that, you know, these people probably, these people, these enemies probably don't uh, um, follow you. I mean, I probably could run past everyone and go right to that night, but I feel like that would decrease my chances of being successful. Switch right to my shield and try my best. I know 
that's not the best shield, but. Well, I'm going to see one time if we can um, run by everything and if that completely skews us up. And if that doesn't, then that's what we're going to do. Even though I think there is a like curse hands in uh, that room, so that would kind of weird. I didn't get hit by that. I like how I, I even have this buffer of like a good chunk of health down on him. But we get the Outrider Knight stuff, which... <laughs> I almost said uh, makes up for it, but um, I won't say that, because that would be ignorant. Armor of the Irithyll, Irithyll Outrider Knight. Enveloped in a dimly cool air, the knights were given the eyes of the Pontiff, but the eyes transformed them into savage raving warriors who only knew how to serve as mindless guards. That's what it looks like it says everywhere. And on this side, there is something special. We didn't read that uh, s um, scroll either. Um, Secret Crystal Scroll of the Grand Archives of Lothric. Uh, these stories, these sorceries, are the work of the Pale Drake Seat, the Scalus, whom Logan is said to have met. A branch of sorcery that has been carried on by the Crystal Sages. So I guess the Crystal Sages are the one and only that brought Crystal uh, sorceries on from that line. Which I suppose means that we probably trained them. Because <laughs> Logan dies, um, so I don't know. Or, and so does Seath. I don't know. But we get Soul Stream. Sorcery imparted by the first of the scholars when Lothric and the Grand Archives our Grand Archives were but young. The first of the scholars doubted the linking of the fire and was alleged to be a private mentor to the royal prince. Aha. That's very interesting. The first of the scholars, well, I mean, obviously we know, oops, don't even want to F with that. We know, um, scholar of the first sin, and they also kind of doubted the fire, linking, linkage. And, um, the first of the scholars here in Lothric also have... the same issue, and they were mentors to the uh, to the prince, who is not yet who has not yet linked the fire. So it is certainly interesting. 
and maybe he was spoke talked out of it. All right, well, we have gone long enough. There's a crystal lizard down here. Wow. Oops. There's a crystal lizard down there. We'll probably get in the next episode, or not at all. But we can open up our first big shortcut and make it so that we don't have to do any of that again. Oops. To move a bookcase first. Let's just return and rest, and then we can start here next time. Thanks for watching me struggle against <laughs> the Boreal Knight, the Outrider Knight. And next time you'll see me struggle against everything else in this castle. Okay, thanks. Bye.